Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. So, TNT, San Francisco Police Department uh, has some uh, like remote controlled police robots that they use to disarm bombs. Okay, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they, uh, I think they've already retracted this but they they said they were going to authorize like them like being like mounted with weapons and sh being able so they could like yeah. shoot people with them yeah. like and then and then there was a lot of backlash it wasn't going to be autonomous right no but no. like it's still i okay if there's a situation like yeah. a hostage situation yeah and you could send in some robots with some machine guns on yeah them, why not do that Hey, yo, look, Jonas, it, it's so amazing that we're this close to T2 Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's the greatest thing ever. And eventually we're going to get there. Eventually. it's uh, The fact that it has already come up is so close to T2 Dirt Judgment Day. It's going to happen eventually. Well, yeah, now they just, I mean... I mean, in, in the war in Ukraine and Russia, they're using drones. I mean, yeah, but yeah. we've been using drones since Desert Storm. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, but, like, dude, I, I, I like, when I first heard this, I thought it was, like, autonomous robots. And I was like, hell no, they don't need guns on them. But if it's just, like, a remote-controlled, like, thing yeah. with a gun on it, like... <laughs> if it's just a remote-controlled thing with a gun on I it. I mean, like, it doesn't, you don't put anybody's life in danger. Not, yeah, so, I mean, unless it malfunctions. Yeah, uh, but what's, I mean, yeah. It's going to take some integration, man. These these robots that oh, we Oh, they're are, already backtracked. They ain't doing it now. No, no they're not going to do it. But, yeah. I mean, look, in L.A., they need to do something, damn it, because they're, yeah, they're going through it. They're going through it right now. Yeah. Or in California, I should say. Yeah. But it's going to take integration. Like, we've got enough. We've, we're starting with the robots that deliver your food. We're starting with the robotic cars. Those are. Those. I would take some drone pizza delivery in a minute. That would be so. Yeah, it's so cool. It's such a cool idea, but on the same note, it's like that's kind of weird. It is. It is kind of weird just to have like Taking a drone a job away from somebody. Essentially, but to have like a drone running so the city. So self checkout in one of those sheets automated food kiosks too. Yeah, right. But there's somebody back there making the food. I went to a McDonald's for the first time in like uh, a year, maybe two years. And I, I ate chicken nuggets. I'm not going to lie to you. I ate chicken nuggets, and they and it was so empty in there. And I was proud of, of the America. And, and they had, like, more self-checkout places than they had regular cashiers. And I was yeah, like. Yeah, I've seen that. The one in Walmart has a, a self-checkout kiosk. Because yeah. I one time went there and got, like, a dollar Coke Zero or whatever. And they, you could order whatever. But there were still people at the counter taking orders, too. So it hasn't completely got rid of like that. Yeah, person. but it's getting there. Oh yeah, because once the boomer generation's gone, the people who don't want to use computers, like yeah. every other every millennial and up is going to use a damn kiosk yeah. over talking to a real person. Because I have to say, is that our generation, Joan, I feel like we're pretty we're pretty cool with it. But there are some, there's some pushback, definitely, even in, well, in our generation. our generation knows both sides. Exactly. It's like we know the world before the internet. But we also know as it got integrated right. more and more and you know, more and we, more. We actually know the best form of the internet. I Th would those say. Those first like five years of the internet where there was no ads and nothing was going. It was like the yeah. wild west out there. Nobody yeah. was using it. Yeah. There was like 100,000 people on the internet total. Yeah. Like, yeah. You could do whatever the hell you wanted back then. Yes, dude. There's like eight websites were easy <laughs> to find. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And there was the best part was there was no ads. No ads, yes, no ads. It was before it was monetized. That was back when people had home pages. Yeah, you had like an Angel Fire page. Sign my guest book. I had a uh, I ICQ. Had a, my, my, my oh, I did ICQ is my jam. I had a Angel Fire site. It was like an I don't even Fire. remember what it was. It was like something like celebs and music, dude. And it was yeah, like yeah. just pictures of bands and yeah, famous this is people. Like, this is like pre MySpace that we're talking about. Oh yeah. This is like ten years before MySpace. Yeah. And I don't want to get into nostalgia fest. I don't know if people like that, but if you do, guess what? We can we can provide that. But yeah, so we do we know the the best forms of inter of the internet where it's from the point of where it started, its inception to its integration to where it is now and and we we can see how it can go so much further. Oh, dude, it's like it's like if you if you honestly if you think about the internet from where it started to where it is today, yeah. it's like it's got every STD in the world. 
<laughs> Basically. Like, it's like, it started out, it was a virgin. Yeah. And now it is just like oh, the, the grimiest, F- grossest, every oh. pustules on pustules on pustules, yeah, dude. we F the S out of that B. <laughs> Everybody's oh. just F and the S out of it, dude. <laughs> we just, F the S out of that B so hard. Yeah. Now, we let the homies hit it. Oh, every homie <laughs> hit it. Oh, my God. God. The was, internet is for the streets. <laughs> the internet is for the streets. She is for the streets. It really is. Oh and it's just God. like, if you think, it's just so gross now. Compared yeah, and to now like, you have to wear a condom. Every <laughs> yeah, time you I, see I the wear, internet, you got to wear a condom. wear condoms every time I type, just, <laughs> so, I don't, just, so, I don't, just so I don't get exactly. finger diseases. But I'm still going to get up in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, going to get I, up I, in I the internet. You every day. <laughs> oh, oh, you too? <laughs> yeah. yeah I touch Holy it every, shit. Multiple times a day. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I'm swimming in it. I'm living yeah. in it. <laughs> My man is an internet fanatic. Yeah, so no, but uh, I do too, man. It, yeah, but it used to be, Jeez. but yeah, like so, but but like my grandma didn't even have the internet at her house like today, and that's nuts. That's nuts to me. Like it's and there's and there's a good chunk of people who are still like that. Yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's and until all of those people are gone. <laughs> wow, that's there won't. That's be one way all, to put it. All, no, I don't mean it in a crass way. Until like, they die off. But even like when you go to Walmart now, they have like three person manned checkouts, yeah. and then they have forty self checkouts. And see, I remember when self checkout was initially a thing, and it was just like. I don't want to self check out. I'm not doing my own groceries. I'm going to make some boy bag it for me. <laughs> now I'm to the point where it's like, yo, I'd rather go to the self checkout than anything else. Well, it, well, here's the thing. I used to, actually, if you go back, I think it was like the first or second episode of this podcast. Way, yeah. way, way. I talked about self checkout and how much I hated it. This was also five years ago when we started this yeah. because you couldn't do it without fucking calling over the person 70 times. Yeah. It was constantly like error, error, error. There's something in your bag. They've it gotten was, rid of that. It wasn't even worth it. They've now that, that rarely ever happens. Yeah, exactly. It, it does. It does now, really that's, happen. That was the only thing that was the problem. Like, Unless you have like alcohol or something, yeah, you're exactly. good to go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's like, but that was my biggest pet peeve was like, if it's self checkout, why do I still need the clerk ten times? And he's yeah. helping the other eight people. It takes you longer to use self checkout. And that's such like a, a business thing too. It's like it's that idea of like how much are we gonna lose through people stealing stuff through the self checkout versus how much is it gonna cost for us to have somebody man that self checkout pay their uh pay we their are wages ten registers. Yeah, pay their wages, pay for their insurance benefits, pay for, you know, and everything else that an employee well, right. incurs. So if they... If so they, it's like, yeah, just let people steal a little bit. We'll say they have a, a cashier running five registers making, say, 15 bucks an hour, right, for 10 hours a day. That's 150 times five, so $750 a day they have to pay just a person to run it. I don't think they're probably losing that much in self checkout a day, it, and that's my point. It's like, yeah, so self checkout is probably yeah, more now beneficial. One dude to stand there and look at his cell phone until somebody's like, "Hey, hey, yeah. I need you." Yeah, I was very surprised today to to find a they added self checkouts to the grocery store that I go to. Did they? Yeah, even more. More. They literally, TV. they literally took two lanes of cashier-run checkout and added more self. They should be over here. They added more. <laughs> I had been gone for three weeks. I so. thought you went there today. No, I went to the big boy because I had to go to Walmart. Okay, too. but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of. It oh, not, so they knocked out two more registers. The ones that I usually, the registers I usually go to because I, I like to go early, and they knocked them out, put some self checkouts in there. I was God like, damn. okay, wow. Kept the conveyor belts too, so it's kind of weird. But. Oh, like because Walmart has some self checkouts with conveyor belts too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and those were the lines. Dude, those were originally uh, cashier run lines. Yeah, and you, and those ones are real nice because people don't know their self checkout, so yeah. there'll be a ten person line, and everyone's like, dur, 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 dur. You're yeah. like, I'm just gonna go over here, dude. Go right over here. Yep. Yeah, but, but it's crazy, and it, when you think about it, like, when's the last time you've been to a grocery store and you've seen like a? They have like twenty lanes of like people where they should be cashiers but there's only like five cashiers well working. right and then or the problem four. is everyone who's in line at a cashier has giant carts because self-checkout yeah. is 10 items or less which that's not true because yeah. i go through there was way more than that all the time but you can't go i couldn't go through if my entire cart was full and overflowing it, yeah, there's just yeah, not yeah. enough room at self-checkout yeah and uh 
So that way, if you do have to go through line, every single person has like $400 worth of groceries and you're like, this is going to take the rest of my life. So then you just go to self-checkout because it's easier. Yeah. They have done this to us. They've done it to us, man, and it's fine. It's like I said, man, it's the internet, so uh, you better get your get your, 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 fingers, your fingers ready. Wear your condoms. Yep, get your fingers. Tell your homies. And that's the thing, man. So check out touch screens. Don't touch them. Oh. You definitely want to wear a finger condom there. <laughs> Gross. You touch Just that finger. <laughs> COVID's over. Lick them. That's oh. all the time we have today. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.